Brian and Marta were arriving at school when they saw teacher Lewis standing at the door. And when he saw them, he waved at them. The kids were both excited to be able to tell him about the things they had discussed with their parents. They quickly approached teacher Lewis, who was supervising entrance of all the students to the classroom. <laughs> Ryan and Marta told him everything, and finally when they were finished speaking, the teacher congratulated them on the good job they had done. Congratulations to both of you. You have done a great job, and today we will start with the planting of mangroves, which I can assure you will be of great benefit to all of us who live here in the coast. All the students gathered in the classroom while teacher Lewis explained the activity that they were going to do on the beach. He told them about the importance of mangroves as protective barriers against winds, protection of the coastline, and important places where the fishery eat and sell, lay their eggs. Finally, the teacher asked the kids to organize in working groups, and they all left the school heading to the beach. On the beach, many people were surprised to see the children collecting garbage, collecting mangrove seeds, and sowing them in the places suggested by the organization that was helping with the activity in the community. Finally, after working for a while, Mr. Martin approached the group. Teacher Lewis, can you tell what the boys are doing on the beach? Shouldn't they be in school studying, or are they now being trained in planting? On the contrary, Mr. Martin, these young people are learning about measures to adapt to the effects of climate change, and by planting mangroves, they are learning about something known as ecosystem-based adaptation. In other words, using the benefits from nature to better adapt to these changes. And do you want to tell me what this is all about? I need further explanation. Sure, Mr. Martin. You see, my hotels here on the beach have placed breakwaters to prevent the sea from entering their property and eroding the beach, but that part, apart from being expensive, is not effective since the sand that accumulates in certain parts is lost in others. On the other hand, ecosystem-based adaptation seeks to use the services that nature provides. For this reason, by planting mangroves, we ensure by means of the roots to protect and recover the beach, preventing it from continuing to be lost. In the end, we not only preserve the beach, we also create shelters for fish and birds and protect the beach houses from storms. A lot of people had gathered around teacher Lewis while he explained all of this to Mr. Martin. Hearing the benefits and importance of what the youths were doing, several persons and entire families began to help clean the beaches and plant mangroves. In the end, there were hundreds of people working along the entire public beach. At the end of the day, it was observed that even Mr. Martin was helping too. He was seen arriving at the beach with coolers with water and food for everyone, encouraging everyone to keep working. Brian and Marta were proud to see how their actions were paying off and people were becoming aware of climate change, supporting actions to adapt and take care of nature.